Stanley Cup Finals. Hi, everybody. Welcome to EA Sports. You know, you can just feel the buzz of this city all day long. And we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. The Cup is on the line. Game one. Let's go. Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Takes the shot. And that's the Scores! Connor McDavid! Chasing the game when you get the first goal of a playoff series, you're starting it off sending a clear message that you want it. The Oilers were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. Oh, you could feel that from up here! You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit that does just that. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Oilers have it now. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Here's a chance. Scores! Off the post and in. Well, that's a real sneaky one that pulled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. Oh, that's just two goals in under two minutes. Cheryl, you stress consistently. Keep your feet moving on the ice, and that pays off. Well, they got the pedal to the metal right now. They're like a freight train. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Oilers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Dreisaitl's gained possession inside the neutral zone. The Panthers have the puck now. Shot! Oh, big time save by Skinner! generated from below the goal line. All of the coverage is facing the puck and he gets lost in coverage in that slot area and just fires it home. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Moves it to Fogel. Too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Look out, here they come on the attack. Taken by Nurse. Oh, what a chance! He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. the midway mark of the period. Florida's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. The Panthers win the draw here in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Kulikov. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. McDavid's lugging the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Edmonton's got possession at center. Nugent Hopkins is taken down, and the officials are signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead, and here's the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, 
Both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away. It's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Dreisaitl's good at moving the play along when he distributes the puck with solid, firm passes that his teammates can handle, guys. He just loves setting them up with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. Takes it to the front! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Back at the point, they set it up. And the goaltender manages to get a pad on that one. Dreisaitl's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Now a quick pass to Nugent Hopkins. Gets the puck over to Stenland. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Stenland's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Panthers win the draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. And he loses control of the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Fires it on net. Makes the save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Dreisaitl set the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Power play has expired. Really like that power play sequence, James. The way they were moving puck and controlling the play, they came up to a hot goaltender. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. The Panthers are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all of those interceptions where they've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. Skinner's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Oilers lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. The Panthers win the faceoff, and the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Picked up along the board, Piper Hayden. And he makes the save on that play. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Oilers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Turn that one aside. Goaltender covers up and will get a face-off. McDavid's wheel zone ability means he's so fast even when skating with the puck. Reinhardt's close quarter zone ability is that accuracy from point point range. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Both teams are set to drop the puck here. Florida's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Perry's got it in the defensive end. Pokes it away in his own end. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. is moving the puck through his own zone. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Taken along the wall by Tarasenko. Quick feed to Barkov. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And here's the pass to McLeod. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Big time save on a big time shot. Scrum ensues along the boards. Unable to reach that one. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Here's a shot. Big time save. Oh, he is. 
is looking good in there tonight. Late goings of this period. We've got a 2-1 game. Florida's got possession here in their own end. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, what a smart heads up play. A shot. Oh, what a great glove save on the play. Edmonton's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net, and the team has delivered so far, leading late in the first. Tricycles won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, it can't be in the box. Now they're short handed, and they've got to find a way to kill it off. takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Nugent Hopkins gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Now he takes it over the line. There's a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. The Oilers will kill off, trying to shake loose. He scores! had his legs tonight. Look at him break away from the pack. He's in all alone. It's a one-off-one -on -one battle, James, with a little bit of a pause there to get the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it in the back of the net. Another face-off looming here on this power play. And off the draw, they win the face-off. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Edmonton's regained possession of the puck. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. The Panthers will play it from the defensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Tarasenko. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Nugent Hopkins plays it against the boards. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bobrovsky. Edmonton's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net, and they lead here late in the first. Florida's got the win off that draw. Power play expires, and they got to be left shaking their heads as they fail to convert and serve up a shorthanded goal. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. And we're about set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Panthers scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in! This is just a fantastic play on the rebound, just showing great hands in tight to be able to catch and release that puck high and get a goal. The Panthers have jumped right back into this one here in the second with that goal. And you can certainly feel the momentum changing tides right there, James, especially after that goal. They cut the deficit within one. And sneaks in there on the tie-up and comes up with the puck. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Puts it on net. Fantastic save! Skinner's a 
great goaltender who understands where the threats are. And this one's in the slot area, and he manages to get to position and make the save. Bobrovsky's gonna hang on for a whistle. Edmonton's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Bobrovsky's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Florida's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And that shot dies in traffic. The Panthers gain possession. And he loses control here. And he slides it quickly to Forsling. And now it's grabbed by Eplat. Big play inside the defensive zone. Edmonton's looking to break out. Sends a pass over. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Edmonton's got it now. Denies him. He got all of it. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Nugent Hopkins. Take it up. Take it up. Fires it. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Edmonton's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. They go on the attack through center. Shot! Edmonton's got the puck now. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. And the goaltender comes up with a piece. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head, and it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. The Oilers talked about getting off to a good start at the morning skate, but Cheryl, this is next level what we're seeing. It really is. Through the first period into the second here, they just dominated. The puck has been on their stick, and when they're in the offensive zone, they're not just on the perimeter, they're finding ways to get pucks to the net. Tries to feed it over to Kane. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Kulikov. Takes a shot. Scores! And look at that. They answer right back. While the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Well, there's not much time here before the goaltender's eyes are taken away, James, and he drops into that butterfly position. All you want to do when you can't see the puck is make yourself as big as possible, but this one has seeing eyes through traffic and finds it back to the net. Florida's ability to finally light the lamp has made this a new game. It wasn't at the start they were looking for, but it's not about the past, it's not about the future, it's about the present right now, and they're within one, and they got to find a way to make that next shift count. Grabs control of it at the point. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Stedlin. Into the attacking area from the left side. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Skinner's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this when he's physically engaged and keeping himself in it. The Oilers will be tough to beat tonight if they continue to play the way they have been. Really active in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Great poke by Stedlin. Quick pass across to Nurse. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Look out, and it goes off the iron and stays out. Florida starting to generate more chances. This is exactly what you want when the game is close. You have to find a way to get 
it back to equal. This one goes off the pipe, but they can't get frustrated. Just continue to pump away and generate those opportunities. Here in the back half of this period, the Panthers have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Barkov's won the faceoff. The Panthers pick up steam and are on the attack. Takes the feed from the wing. Throws it in. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Still has possession. Florida's moving it along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Panthers take possession in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. Shot, and then carries off a stick. Let's it rip. Oh, what a chance there. Well, it almost looked like he converted a quick release shot. He had no time or space, but unable to put it by. And he denied that opportunity. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, that's off the blocker. What a stop by Bobrovsky. Let's get the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Moves it quickly over to Nugent Hopkins. Makes it look easy with the stop. Oh, there's one more! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Trying to get it out of their own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the... Oh, the And we are tied, courtesy of a short-handed time. Well, this is a critical moment in the game. The PK unit goes out there, and they just don't want to build a further deficit. The way to get back to even strength to strike. And instead, they do it by their short-handed, James. What a swing in momentum. The Panthers have been dressing, and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded, and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. They move the puck out of harm's way. Time to execute here on this power play. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. Moves the puck into the attacking area. In close! Too many bodies in the way. Takes a shot. Oh, he put it up and over the net. Now you work so hard to get your eyes on the net. He sees some daylight. He goes for it, but it's a little too fine, and it's up and over. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. And they'll skate it out of the zone. And he's got that one. Moves it to Henrique. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a great save by Bobrovsky. And he takes the pass. Through center along the wing. And that's knocked away by Bouchard. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Period number three, just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Picked up by Barkov. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. 
Textbook poke check by McDavid. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Across the line. Moves inside. Gives them nothing in front. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Handles the pass. Handles the puck. Oh, and he stops that one. That was served up with a whole lot of spice. The centermen glide into position. Barkov's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Florida's got a hold of the puck. And he takes the dish. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Takes the pass. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. Works it across to Nugent Hopkins. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Ekblad. Denies him with the save. Grabbed along the board by Verhage. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Florida's grabbed a hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Pass to Bouchard. Slides it across to Dreisaitl. And a puck check knocks the puck away. The Oilers have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Receives the pass. Bobrovsky's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident control in the crease. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a tie game. Florida's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Panthers move the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Here's a chance. Great save by Skinner. And the puck's kicked free. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Sends the pass over. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. And the puck's booted away. The Panthers scoop it up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Shot! Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice, he's in the slot area, and he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Past the midway mark of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Great stretch pass as he connects. Tarasenko's got to find his game, James. He hasn't been doing it. What a goal! Oh, effort. Now we've seen it so many times before. He has such a knack to lose coverage in front of the net and inside. And when he gets a puck on his stick, he ain't missing from there. Not surprised that he scores this one, James. He's right in his wheelhouse net front. He uses his body position, but it's not about the accuracy of the shot. It's about getting it off quickly when he does best. Florida's gone up by one here in this third period. A great spot to be in. You have the lead at the end of the third period. You got to find a way to hold it, though. You don't want to play too conservative. The reason why you got the goal is you're aggressive and on your toes. The Panthers win it. Puck picked up by Edmund Larson. Quick feed to Parker. Denied by the goaltender. Well, he's got real quick hands, and he doesn't need much time or space to get that shot off. He's known for finding the back of the net from that area. But the save is made, and he's turned aside. Here they come on the attack. Slides it diagonally to Kulikov. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And he takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a short pass to Edmund Larson. Passes on over to Tarasenko. Quick pass to Reinhardt. 
Considering lead! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Carl's got the answer as to who had the better night. Reinhardt looked good and was able to use his zone ability to generate scoring opportunities, guys. I know both players put up points, but I'm still going to give him the edge in this matchup. And he slides it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. Here's a chance. Quick shot. Scores! They've tied it up here with a timely goal in the third. Well, with their backs up against the wall, they decide to turn the tides and put on the press, if you will, James, and they get the equalizer. There's a reason why coaches talk about crisp passing and execution. They get angry in your skating practice if it isn't on the tape. He puts on a clinic here in distribution, and it winds up as a goal. Edmonton's playing the win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking, and this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way, but you can certainly finish it. Puck scooped up by Forsling. Florida's on the attack. Fires it on net, and the save. Across the line along the left wall. Florida's got the puck along the wall. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back in... Oh, what a save! I put it the score! tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. The Oilers win the draw here in their own end. Through center. Oh, great use of the body on the play. The Panthers get a hold of the puck along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Close to the crease. They score! We're ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. The Panthers take possession after that neutral zone face-off. Great defensive effort with the stick. Tarasenko's taking it from his own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Tucked away in the offensive zone by Forsling. Shot, snags with the glove by Skinner. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Edmonton's taking possession in their own end. Pass across to Hyman. Here's a shot, and a textbook pad save there. The Oilers really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard victory. Here's a shot. at the other end of the ice here, Cheryl. Well, it certainly is, and an extra attacker on the ice. Possession is critical. Got to win this face off. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. An impressive team effort as they take the first one and draw the proverbial first blood into the series, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and that's exactly how they would have drawn it up, James. You want to make sure that you are the one that establishes the play and pace.
pace of the game right off the top, and you want to set the tone. Well, they did that, and now their opponent's squeezing their sticks a little tight. Gotta love playoff time. Everything matters, every moment, every play, and we will see you at the next game from all of us here at EA Sports. Cheers.